Hi, in this video, we will have a look at how to find total number of records from a SharePoint list. So here is my list called books and I have got around 6,000 6, records here. So ignore the 6,015 here because my ID starts from 16. Okay, so the best way to do uh, is there is an action step called send an HTTP actions uh, request to SharePoint. The first thing you need to do here is select the site address, then the method is get. Then what you want to do here is you need to follow similar, uh, you know, the example which you're showing here, the tooltip underscore API web list get title of your list name. So that's my list name books and then the item count slash item count. That's the syntax you want. Okay. The next step you, you need to, we need to add here is a compose action step. So under the compose, you could get the body of that result back here. So let's save this flow and see what we are going to get. Okay, I'm going to run my flow now. Right, see the result is 6000. So I got the total number of records coming back from the REST API call. The syntax is underscore API web list get by title then the list name that's your list name here and then the item count okay there is another way you can find this is the best way to find it the other way is you can use the get items and uh, then increase uh, you increase the the pagination uh, technique uh, that's what you need to do there so um, let me show you that as well here so for that i'm going to use again sharepoint connector here look for get items then select the site address then the list the name is called books right let's see um, i'm going to add a compose here and see what result we are going to get so um, the, the expression we need to use here for finding the total number of records is this so i'll show you length then the output of the get underscore items that is a previous step name why the underscore is because of the space so if your name is something different with you know um, with the spaces you need to add underscores there that's all it is yeah so, and then the question mark body value slash value i'll put this expression in my video description right okay let's run this flow and see what we are going to get See, by default, we only got 100 records here. So to increase that, what we need to do here is we need to go to the settings, turn on the pagination, then put a threshold value, which you expect from your list, you might have, you know, 10,000 records. So put something, um, a figure more than that. So here I have 6,000 records. So for that, I'm going to put, okay, I'm going to have maximum of 10,000 records there. So that's, so I put that figure there, 10,000 there and click done. Now I'm going to run the flow again and see the result. Because it's more than, uh, you know, uh, 5,000 records, it's going to take uh, quite a while to retrieve all the records. So this get items, you see, it is quite expensive here. As you can see here, flow is still running and it is waiting to get all the records. Then only, you know, we can execute, it can execute the next uh, statement, which is the total number of records, the expression which I shown you above. Whereas if you look at this one here, you can see it straight away, we got 6,000 here using the Rust API method. Okay, so let's go and have a look at this result. Here it is. So we got the result also. So my personal preference is always to go with the Rust API method to find the total number of records. Hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.